Welcome to the first ever Tigeresses podcast. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Uh, I'm joined by head coach Lindsay Anfield, assistant coach Will Dagger, and uh, player Georgie Heverington. So obviously a, a big game coming up this Sunday against Alton Radiates in the County Cup final. Lindsay, are you looking forward to it? Um, yeah, we're all really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully our first bit of silverware in, a, in the Cup. We, we won at Brighton, but um, I think this is a, is it would be a really big achievement for the girls. Um, it's going to be really difficult. Last time we played, I think it was 30 points to 20, so it was a, it was a close game and it was really physical. And um, hopefully the, the girls this week will step up a, step up a bit and um, really, give it a, really give it a good go. And obviously in that first game, where it was 30 to points to 20 to Cass, Georgie, you scored a couple of tries. You think you can get a couple more in the final? Hopefully I've got my new boots, like, not, 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 um, I've, I've not, not scored since I've had my new boots. I think it's a bit of good luck. So I'm feeling confident for the weekend. And hopefully the, the new boots will yeah. put some uh, magic onto the field. Yeah, I think it will. What do you think, Will? You just recently joined the team as the assistant coach. What were your thoughts ahead of that big game on, on Sunday? Um, yeah, I think over the weeks we've, we've seen a massive improvement. Um, obviously, going back to Batley's uh, game, um, we've, we've still got a bit, bit to improve on, um, but good things have come out of that, so we can hopefully take it into this weekend against Alton. It's also an opportunity for the team to pick up the, the second piece of silverware this season. How do you reflect on the, the campaign so far? Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a great season so far. We ended up uh, fourth in the in the league. Um, so to come just under the, the top three teams has been been great for a, a group of brand new players together at a new club. Um, I couldn't have really asked for any more. What do you them. what do you make of it, Georgie? I mean, a, a place in the top four, two pieces of silver potentially. Yeah, I think it's really good for for women's rugby league, and you know, for us as as a new team, it's it's nice to to be recognised within within the league and within the cup. Um, yeah, I think it's been really positive season so far for us, and we're just hoping to build on that and hopefully bring home some silverware. And what are you expecting from the game, Will? Um, I'm expecting a physical game from kick off. Really, I think we need to start getting into grind a bit more and not. Not backing out of it. I think when, like, obviously we've worked on it over weeks about aggression b- between team, and I think we, we're starting to see it a bit, aren't we? We're also joined by uh, Terry Billsborough here. He has been the sponsor of the team since the very beginning. Terry, how, how good has it been seeing Castleford do so well this season? I tell you what, mate, absolutely brilliant. Like watching the ladies uh, run out there, like for the for the first ever season. And uh, seeing Lindsay there, absolutely knit them all together. Seeing Georgie there and seeing Will, absolutely as as a team, and it's absolutely brilliant for the sponsors. You know, you know people like GBT and Yorkshire Eat, and uh, everybody like that. Like it's absolutely immense for them. Like you know what I mean, we we just hope to get a little bit more involved with uh, with local sponsors for next season because. We're not going to go from where we are now to absolute massive without them, but we are going to go somewhere, and it, it will be good. It'll be good for Castleford. It'll be good for the local area. What would you say to potential sponsors? Would you tell them to go for it? Uh, definitely, because it's it, it's it's where the women's rugby league is at the minute. Like I mean, it, it, uh, going into the Super League and everything like that. Like you know, it, it's just. It's just going to push forward. It is going to be as big as women's rugby union, and and that's where we aim to be at the minute. Yeah, you know I mean. And uh, moving on to to last week, it was a disappointing defeat to Featherston, but uh, your team did compete for the first fifty minutes, didn't they, Lindsay? Um, <coughs> they did. We were four points down at half time, um, and then straight after the half time break, we scored again to go up eighteen points to sixteen. Um, and I think there were just a, a couple of little errors and. Uh, you know, a bad bounce of the ball for us, and then Fev kind of started getting on the score sheet, and maybe our heads went down a little bit. But yeah, like you say, for the first 50 minutes, we were 100% in the game and, and matching them set for set. So the the end score was slightly disappointing, but at least we know that that we're there or thereabouts, and and we can only get better. How do you reflect on that performance, Will? Um, yeah, we've got some good stuff out of it. Um, first, like Lindsay said, first 50 minutes. Um, we, we obviously we've ma- matched them set for set, um, got in that grind with them, 
for the first half and come out on top in the first half. I think um, we need to start working as a team uh, when they start getting a bit harder and things that don't start going for us, really. And obviously, with the average age in the team around 18 or 19 years old, do you think there was that lack of experience that you know, perhaps added to that defeat? Uh, yeah, I do. I think it's it's been really good for us as a young team to come as far as we have in a short space of time, but I do think that we may be lacking those couple of more experienced, older players in team um, just to add that, that extra knowledge at game. Um, but that's only things that will come with time and... I think I think we did do really well um, when we played against Fev. I think it's just our mindset. We need to have that confidence um, to be able to pull it back and push on when things do start going um, against us. And obviously, the lack of experience is one downfall to having a young team. But what are some of the what are some of the positives? Um, they're a really they're a really fun group of girls, and, and they work really hard in training. Um, They've taken all the new stuff on really well, all the strength and conditioning and, and player things and, and the impact and contact that we do in the wrestle room. Um, I think sometimes with the older players they get a little bit stuck in the ways and you know they, they, they tend to know what to expect at training but, but this group are just happy to do what, whatever, whatever comes to them at training and they'll really get stuck in. Um, if I look back to, to when I was playing, I was nowhere near as confident or as good as these guys when I was 18 or 19 so if they stick together as a group you know, the next five, ten years look really promising for the club. And Terry, what do you make of the game game so far in terms of sponsorship? You said there's some good opportunities here at Cast. Do you think other teams offer the same opportunities? Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure because, uh, I mean, what, what we've done over the space of the 12 months that uh, we've been together is unsurpassable, really, like, because what we've done is we've we, we've we've got a lot of sponsorship involved, and uh, you know it's really really good for these lasses. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it pays for the kit, it pays for stuff like that, and and they come down and they support the team, and there's loads there supporting who, who, are, who are the sponsorship. You know what I mean? And it's brilliant to watch, and just you know, it, it, I mean, if if anybody wants to sponsor them next season, just come down and see how hard they work. Because it's unreal, it's ace. Despite that defeat to Feverston, there was also another game during the week, and that was the, the Cup semi-final against Batley. Do you think it's good having a final and semi-final so close to each other, Lindsay? Um, well, there's obviously positives and negatives. Um, it's great to get a bit of a, a roll on and, and have a semi-final and have the final you know, just straight around the corner. Um, the players have had plenty of time to recover. They've had a, a swim session and, and done a lot of recovery. So I think, I think they should be fine going into Sunday's game. But obviously the score was 50 nil. That must give a team a lot of momentum he heading into a final. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, girl, girls have picked up on that and know how each other play ju like during that game. So I think just for them to get a big win in a semi-final, it, it takes their confidence up a hell of a lot to be able to take it into a final. And obviously, with it being so close, morales are still high. And then, what did you make of that game against Batley? Uh, yeah, I think it was it were a good game. It was um, they fielded a lot of of young players, um, which a lot of them were even younger than our average age at team. Um, so I think it was it were nice to play against an easier opposition to be able to you know get that confidence back that we maybe lost in game against Fev, um, and hopefully we can take that confidence through to, into the final now. I just double checked, it was actually 58 nil, not 50 nil. So there you go, I, I took a couple of points off you there. <laughs> and obviously, the team has had a weekend off. Do you think that is a good thing or a bad thing heading into a, a cup final? Uh, definitely a good thing for us. We've, we've got quite a lot of injuries. We've had quite a few serious injuries this year. Not that they're going to heal over a weekend, but you know, there's a few uh, knocks and bruises that have had a having a bit of a time to, to get over that and see the physio and, and get sorted out so that the all guns blazing on Sunday. Are you hoping to have any players back? Yeah, um, one, of our, one of our big injuries was Seth who um, in pre-season got quite a bad knee injury so this will be hopefully her first, first game back. Um, so that'll be a massive massive positive for the team. She's worked really hard, been to, been to near enough every session so she really deserves her first game back to be in a big, big game like this. And uh, Will, what would you say to someone if, if they haven't played all season and they're coming in and the first game back is a cup final? Um, 
I suppose obviously nerves is a there's a good point and a bad point of it. Um, I suppose if you if you're thinking about your nerves going into the game, then that's what's going to knock your game up. But if you take it as a good thing and uh, that you're coming back to a big game, I think you've got you, you've got everything that you need really. You've got obviously buzz of your first game coming back and then a good team around you to be able to finish game off. And uh, what do you think about having Seth back in the team potentially ahead of that ahead of that game? Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. Um, we have Miss Seth. She's you know she's really strong. She works hard when she's on pitch, um, and it'll be nice nice to just get her back on field. And uh, we spoke a little bit before about Featherstone, and as you mentioned, Lindsay they have a lot of England internationals. You obviously have got one now with Katie Hepworth. What, what have you made of her season so far? Katie's had a, had a great season, she's always been a really good player but this season she's really um, dedicated herself to get to getting an England shirt, she's stepped up her training and you know she's really got an, an athlete's mentality now, um, so I was re really pleased that sh she got a shot and hopefully that's a you know, bit of an international career going to come for Katie and, and as well it, it gives the, the others something to aim for, that, you know they see how hard she works and what a great player she is and, and it really gives them all that bit of inspiration. And uh, Georgie, um, do you think that Katie now play, obviously playing had an England shirt, do you think that will motivate the rest of the team to try and reach that same level? Yeah, definitely. I think seeing like um, Bradford, Fat Owen, Fev, they've got a lot of England players across them three teams and obviously we want to be up at that at that high standard as well so I, th I think like having, you know, facilities and training that we've got we're only going to get fitter and fitter, and and hopefully, like a skill will improve, and we'll get more more internationals within our squad as well to help us get to that level. And obviously, Will, you just joined the team recently. Um, what made you join? Um, well, it was Lynn's at first. Um, girls were struggling uh, under eye balls and low ball retrieval, so she asked me to come down and do a couple of hours with them, just with backs and like obviously forwards on back line off kick off. So did a bit of that, and then. Started doing it week in, week out, and then you just enjoyed it that much. You asked me to join, didn't you? <laughs> You've enjoyed it so far? Yeah, loving it. Uh, obviously, it's good to see it from a different uh, like eyes in game. So, from uh, obviously playing in game in men's, and then obviously coaching at women's, you see it from different points. You think it can help you to become a be better player yourself? Uh, yeah, obviously, it's. It, the, the level's still high up there um, with girls, but obviously it's the little things that help. Um, so, like all obviously small, smaller stuff will help them through, and then obviously that I, I, I can take that back into my game and improve on my game. And obviously, you play super league, uh, professional super, super league uh, for Warrington. <laughs> um, did you get any stick for for deciding to coach a, a cast team? Um, yeah, nineteen lads have talked a bit, but um, yeah, it's it is what it is, though, isn't it? It's only a bit of banter, so you get used to it. Um, obviously, it's it's good to help a girls team out and try and like create history for girls, really. Thank you very much for joining me here. Uh, by the way, we are. In the Eagle Pub, Castleford, which is obviously one of our, our main uh, kit sponsors. So drinking, get yourself. <laughs> no, we're not drinking, but get yourselves down if you can. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and hopefully uh, see you again, uh, perhaps after the final. <laughs>